Welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday of the fourth week of Lent. Morning Prayer is a daily part of the Liturgy of the Hours, the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come. Let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O when, Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked. They shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away. The wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. So that your people may walk in innocence, you came to us, Lord Jesus, and told us to be holy as your Father is holy. Help your children to love what is truly perfect, so that we may neither speak what is evil nor do what is wrong. Let us stand in your sight and celebrate with you the Father's love and justice. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. Blessed are you and praiseworthy, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and glorious forever is your name, for you are just in all you have done. All your deeds are faultless, all your ways right, and all your judgments proper. For we have sinned and transgressed by departing from you, and we have done every kind of evil. For your name's sake, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham your beloved, Isaac your servant, and Israel your holy one. 
to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were holocausts of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you, and we pray to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord, do not withhold your compassion from us. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man, who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a passing shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp to you who give kings their victory, who set David, your servant, free. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord, God of strength, you gave your Son victory over death. Direct your church's fight against evil in the world, Clothe us with the weapons of light and unite us under one banner of love that we may receive our eternal reward after the battle of earthly life. O God, I will sing to you a new song. Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord, your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment.
The men who cured me told me to pick up my sleeping mat and go in peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The men who cured me told me to pick up my sleeping mat and go in peace. God the Father has given us His only Son, the Word made man, to be our food and our life. Let us thank Him and pray. May the Word of Christ dwell among us in all its richness. Help us this Lenten season to listen more frequently to Your Word, that we may celebrate the solemnity of Easter with greater love for Christ, our Paschal sacrifice. May Your Holy Spirit be our teacher that we may encourage those in doubt and error to follow what is true and good. Enable us to enter more deeply into the mystery of your Anointed One, that our lives may reveal Him more effectively. Purify and renew your Church at this time of salvation, that it may give an ever greater witness to you. May the Word of Christ dwell among us in all its richness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, may our Lenten observance prepare us to embrace the Paschal mystery and to proclaim your salvation with joyful praise. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Tuesday of the fourth week of Lent. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, and composer Kevin Allen. I am David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours, 